Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit Goyal and today I am going to tell you about the custom controller. In my previous video, I have explained a brief description about the standard controller. So you know about standard controller. Standard controllers are nothing but the sales force inbuilt methods to save or update or cancel or delete a record. So whatever process is going or running in backend in Salesforce to save a record, to update a record or to delete a record, those are handled by standard controllers. Now I will be describing what is a custom controller. So what is a custom controller? Custom controller is the custom defined methods or process to save or to execute any method within Apex class. So if you want to use a custom controller, you can write in Visual Force page and execute it while saving or updating or deleting a record. So let's see how to build a custom controller. So basically there are two ways to create a custom controller. First is, first of all let me log into my Salesforce. So I have already logged into my Salesforce over here. So first way to create a custom controller is click on setup then go to develop then click on apex classes and from here we can create a custom controller basically custom controllers are nothing custom controllers are the apex classes in which we can write our own functionality or we can create a our own functionality so we can create a new custom controller or the apex class from here this is the first way. Second way is via the Salesforce editor. And uh, so let me show you that way also. So in that way, so in Visual Force editor, after creating the page, you can specify the custom controller name in the controller attribute of the Apex colon page tag. And then click on the save button. And if you are a developer, the page will be asking you to create the class with the name that you entered then the newly created controller will be shown on the visual force editor so let me show you the second way also to show the to work to create a custom controller using the second way this is the second way like i am creating a new page over here show pop up one i get i will i am going to create a new visual force page over here show pop up one Click on create page show pop-up one. This will create our visual force page. You can see over here we have a coding part over here. So I remove, I eliminate this code and here I write in previous video I told you about the standard controller. This time I will be going to use the a custom controller. So I write here controller and a name. So I write a name show pop-up one this will be the name of or let's say show pop-up or simple let's say my pop-up this is the name of my controller and as soon as i click on save visual force will show an error that the apex class my pop-up does not exist and i can click on this link create apex class public class my pop-up and this will i can create a custom controller from here itself so i can click on this and this will create a custom controller over here and I can, if I'll open this you can see this is my custom controller now I can write my functionality in between these two braces so over here I can write my own functionality or we can we can give our custom functionality over here so let's take a scenario over here is so let me show an example with a scenario. The scenario is I want to display one button over here and whenever a user click on that button it will show a pop-up window. Okay, it's like a pop-up window and in that pop-up window there will be a message and a button and when a user click on that button inside the pop-up window that pop-up window will be closed. So this is the scenario and this uh, so and the functionality I want to implement with the help of custom controllers so I'm going to use the same page over here same controller over here 
only thing is I have to design my visual force page over here and then I'm going to write my functionality within this custom controller or in this apex class so let me start writing the code over here so first of all I write apex colon form and in between this form I first of all I create one command button fx colon command button value is equal to show pop up and action there will be action also with associated with this button and action will be show pop up now if you see this this action is not uh, not available under salesforce or under visual force so what I have to do is I have to implement the functionality of this action into my custom controller class over here or in this apex, page, apex class over here then after this I want to create one control output panel output panel and uh, I'll give one ID to this output panel ID is equal to to pop up why I'm giving this ID because later on whenever we click on that button I'm going to perform some functionality on this pop up output panel That's all. then again I create output panel second output panel over here rendered now rendered basically we have two functions over two attributes over here for output panel rendered and re-rendered so if you see one is rendered one is uh, basically this is rendered so what will happen rendered over here is rendered means this will be uh, this is used to display or hide any section or any block of a page so I use here rendered and in rendered I am going to hide or show a pop-up window or basically pop-up window is nothing it's just an output panel over here so basically I want to hide or show the output panel now so I can use here true or false but again I want to provide this true or false or I want to provide this uh, value from a controller over here from this apex class so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my own value over here that is display pop-up and we'll be providing value to this, to this display pop-up into this our apex class over here display pop-up and in between this I write a message this is a pop-up window and with this pop-up window I want to show one command button or give one command button so that when a user click on that command button that pop-up window will be closed so command button value is equal to close pop-up and what will be the action action is equal to again hide pop-up I am going to override this functionality by myself and re-rendered or rendered is equal to pop up so basically this button will be associated with this one it will be uh, re-rendered pop up means it will be hiding or showing this particular section so this is our apex page now let's save this page and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the functionality into my apex class so I click on my pop up just forget about this not to worry about this we'll be going to implement the functionality so just forget this and here first of all I create one boolean variable because I have to give a value over here display pop-up true or false right so I create a variable here public boolean display pop-up and get the value and two method get and set get and set is to get the value and to set the value now after that we have here two actions show pop-up and hide pop-up so we have to implement the functionality by ourselves so I write here public void 
first of all let's say show pop-up and in this what I want to do is display pop-up is equal to true this is to show the value or show the show output panel public void hide pop-up and here I give display pop-up is equal to false and save the functionality and run you see show pop-up there is a button when I click on this button it will show a pop-up over here so you see over here when I click on this button it will show a pop-up window a message with a button and when I click on that button that button will be gone and the message will be gone but it's not actually looking like a pop-up window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement some style also I want to add a style sheet with this so I add style and so that it looks like a proper pop-up window style and here I create a style pop-up style and in this let's prop set the properties background color gray then border style solid padding is 50 px position so this style sheet is ready now we'll be going to implement or add this style sheet to our output panel so in this second output panel I write here style class and the name of the style pop-up style pop-up style so let's save this and run this and check whether it's working or not yes so I click on this button and let's see I click on this button and you can see a uh, it's like a pop-up window now this is a pop-up window and with a button with border and cell padding and everything and when I click on this button close pop-up that pop-up will be closed so this is how to implement the functionality or this is how to implement uh, how to use a custom controller in visual force that's all in my video I will be coming up with some new more topics and new videos in visual force i hope you are liking my videos so till then goodbye see you soon